and welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking, where I finally get to use the Asado again in the daylight. So uh, I've got it um, literally just starting up now. Um, just with a couple of um, couple of logs to start with. Um, it takes about sort of 45 minutes to an hour to get this beast going. Um, I did have to sort of clear it out today uh, because of the rainfall, just emptied it into a bucket down there. But um, it's really, really easy to get going. As I said, it takes about an hour, so it gives you loads and loads of prep time. So I'm just gonna leave that for a little bit and then keep adding more and more logs until the embers fall down and it gets really, really hot. So we're about 45 minutes in so far and that is looking absolutely unreal. Embers are starting to drop down. It is warm as hell stood here, but I thought I'd just show you the meat. So that is a tomahawk, uh, a pork tomahawk, sorry. Just to give you a bit of perspective, it's pretty much the length of my arm there. Uh, it's from Easter Compton um, Farm Shop. I did a, a quick episode on the uh, the pork tomahawk for the butcher's nose best. I'll put the link in below, but that is absolutely beautiful. I've just marinated that up. I'll put, uh, I'll put the um, ingredients again in the description below if you're interested in that one. It's just a load of sauce, load of um, chilies and, and herbs and things like that. So soy sauce, sugar, all that. So yeah, hopefully that's gonna be super, super tasty. And basically, we just continue to wait whilst we're here. And um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful thing to experience um, cooking on one of these. Um, it's so, so warm. So, so warm. I did a, a talk recently live on Instagram, and um, I think I used the words that this, this thing was seductive. And it really is. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's worth pointing out as well is that I can get you discount. If you are due to buy yourself a barbecue and you want to consider something like this, I mean, one, you will not regret it for a second, but also I can get you a little bit of discount. So again, I'll pop that in the uh, description below as well. But hopefully next time I pick the camera up, we're going to be cooking it. Okay, moment of truth. Will it work? Here we go. Get under there. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely loving that. So, and then in here we've got some um, some mushrooms, some garlic, uh, some chestnuts and some thyme from the garden over there. And this sort of backs up the, uh, the sort of spirit of the page because I haven't gone out looking for chestnuts. I've bought them. Um, these little things come in a pack. They're absolutely amazing. They last you know, that would last to 2022. Absolutely perfect for this. Um, you keep them in the cupboard and then get them out because I'm cutting down on my um, potatoes and things, but we'll get that flipped when it's ready and see what happens. So I've flipped it. I can't do it whilst recording because it's, it's too big and uh, too difficult to do one-handed, but you get these lovely, lovely grill marks um, sort of all across it. I'm really, really looking forward to this tonight. Really looking forward to it. So I've just raised the uh, the grill up to spread out the uh, the embers, and they are so hot. They are so so hot, and it is. There's no filters. This is how it is. It's just magnificent, magnificent. So I think that's as good as it's going to get right now. So we get this plated up. I did put an apple on. Um, because you can't have pork without apple, right? So I'm going to slice that up. That's lovely and squidgy and soft and sweet. So I think that's going to work really, really well. There we are, the mushrooms, the garlic, the chestnuts, the apple, some Cavallo Nero that I picked up today, and that beautiful, beautiful looking tomahawk. Can't wait to try this. I've just, um, I've just cut into that pork and it's just looking absolutely beautiful really really moist it's from um, a company called prestige pork who are just incredible oh my god that was so good but uh as per usual i'm uh, i'm finishing videos in the dark um again i do miss summer but um this this grill is still going there's a lovely lovely heat to it still but that pork was sensational it was so so moist the um the pork from easter compton farm shop is just second to none um and as i said sort of earlier that uh, that pork tomahawk was about 
um, trying to introduce different cuts and things to you guys and getting you to ask your butchers for them. So go into your butchers, if it's Easter Compton and you're near Bristol, go in there, ask them for a pork tomahawk. I guarantee if you like pork, you will love that because it's got the pork chop, the belly, everything on it and you can flavour it however you want. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel, please, please hit that subscribe button. Um, ring the notification bell. Let me know what you think about this and I will see you soon. Thank you.